So yeah, what is this one? So uh, this is called Rejuvenic uh, mask. And what it did, it was kind of tightening your muscles uh, to reduce wrinkles on your face. So uh, it, it looks really strange <laughs> and ultimately didn't work out. Uh, but the, the idea was to, you know, to keep you look more younger without wrinkles uh, and, and look better. This is the first gallery of flops that we're presenting at CES. Some of the iconic, iconic failures from the groundbreaking, very famous companies. And we wanted to show that even great companies fail at some point. And as most founders are optimists, they think that whatever they're doing will work. We wanted to show that even these kind of great companies with all the resources and with all the experience, even they can fail. And if they can fail, everybody can fail too. So they need to be aware. So there are different reasons for failures, financial, team, you know, microeconomic, etc. But number one reason that most companies typically fail is that there is no market demand. So people just really don't want it for, for some reason. For many ones, uh, Nike had these uh, famous glasses that are glued uh, on your face for some reason, or maybe for obvious reasons, people didn't want it to use that. Uh, Twitter introduced a specific phone for tweeting only and people didn't want it to carry just another phone only for tweeting. You know, uh, there are many glasses, Nintendo, there were many phones uh, that just failed. Uh, Amazon introduced its very famous Fire Phone and it didn't work out. Uh, I would say if before that was acceptable, uh, now even big companies are becoming more sensitive to failures. You know, there are these rumors that we are heading to economic crisis very soon and, and even big companies are becoming more and more sensitive to failures.